Hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Scorpios. The portal for the full moon is open. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, so there are tons of, um, there's a tons of information on um, Google, Pinterest, on social media about full moon rituals and things like that. If you want to follow those, um, you're more than welcome to do it. Some people lay out gemstones and crystals during the full moon phase while the portal is open. Rule of thumb, like three days prior to moon being fully illuminated, which is going to be on July 21st. And this full moon, we're going to have full buck moon. And then three days after. So that's going to be a total of, what, seven days? So uh, 18th through, what, the 24th? Um, yeah, but this is a time for protecting your energy. It's a very sensitive time. Lots of downloads coming through, a lot of messages coming through. So let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. Strength. Tapping into your strength, right? Tapping into your strength. Increasing your strength. Here we have the uh, Seven of Swords. Here we also have the Six of Pentacles. Here we also have the Two of Wands. Here we also have the King of Swords. And then we also have the Page of Wands, right? So moving a little bit more strategically. Moving a little bit more strategically. There's two energies in particular that Source is saying to you. I feel like because you're learning how to protect, you're, you're acting differently. You're kind of responding a little bit differently. They're starting to kind of sort of catch on. You're being a little bit more meek. You're not being reactive. You're not in survival mode. They think you help, you're holding on to some secrets. You're not telling them everything like you normally, you're not looking for their acceptance and their approval. In other words, they're starting to start thinking like, Hmm, what's going on with them? Are they being so secretive? Like what's going on? Like, so source is saying, just move a little bit more strategically. You're kind of sort of switching things up because you're not looking for people's acceptance and approval. I do see you traveling a little bit more, kind of getting out. You have a lot of opportunities. See this globe right here and this bus. I do feel like somebody's going to start doing a little bit more traveling, you know, just kind of being a little bit more to yourself, um, not making people as easily as accessible to you like you may have been before where people were starting to get a little bit too familiar with kind of sort of your comings and goings and like you go to work between this hour and this hour or you take this way to you know maybe you walk to the market and this way on this road or whatever or maybe you drove to work this way and, and you know or you did things at this time, at this time, I feel like somebody is learning how to switch it up a little bit. You know, I know you're all a fixed sign. And so fixed signs have to kind of sort of break up the monotony a little bit. So I feel like somebody is learning how to be a little bit more strategic now that you're a lot wiser. See this cute little owl right here? Um, I feel like somebody is, um, your thought process is a little bit different now. You know, now that you've been through some things, especially when people just talk a little bit too much, they tell a little bit too much information because they're so busy looking for other people's acceptance and approval, they just start telling everybody's business. And so I feel like you got to move a little different now because you, you deal with people who, you know, want to be accepted and approved by everybody. Nothing is off limits, right? So, um, so let's see what else we got going on here. So I do see your money increasing. So I feel like Somebody has a lot of opportunities coming your way to increase your wealth. And so you're going to have to do a better job in not telling people, um, you know, getting excited about, oh, I got these new opportunities coming. I'm traveling. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Because you got a lot of that coming your way. So you're going to have to learn how to just from past experiences of being a little bit more free with just telling information you're going to have to really draw from past experiences and just like, hmm, who was in survival mode? Who was, um, <clears throat> who was in like financial survival mode? Um, who was, you know, who was like desperate to, you know, like as far as money was concerned, who was kind of in that desperate mode, like that I may have shared some information with and I didn't even, you know, cause you were so busy, you know, it wasn't even a big deal for you. Who who do I who did I start telling stuff to? And I didn't even realize they were telling other people's stuff, right? So I feel like uh, somebody is somebody is learning how to move a little bit more strategic in that way. And I, and source is actually going to reward you for that. 
So that's how you started bringing things to divine masculine energy. It's like, okay, you're taking a different kind of action now, but divine. You're being led by the divinity within you in a positive way. So some of those colleagues that you used to go to lunch with and you telling them, hey, I'm about to apply for this position or, you know, asking them for advice about how should I write my self-assessment and how should I do this and that they're going to start noticing that you're moving differently, that you're not asking them as many questions, that they're not as familiar with. They're going to feel like, oh, you seem like you changed. They may say that to you because you have. You're evolving. You're not looking for their acceptance and their approval anymore. And so they may even say to you, oh, you, you, you know, you different, you know, whatever. So adjust your crown because you are. You've grown. You are different. You have grown. So congratulations. Hang in there with yourselves. Hang in there with yourselves. You're learning how to dream bigger. You know, you're not looking for people's acceptance and their approval. You've been working hard, and, but you're learning how to keep people out of your vault door. When your vault door is swung wide open, you don't really know who is what. You're hosting everything in your vault door. You're telling everybody what your plans are and this and that. You don't know who's praying for you, and you don't know who's praying on you. So at least when you are the gatekeeper of your own vault door, you're not just hosting everybody coming in. You're praying ahead of time. Source, give me clarity before I have to pray to get people out of my universe. <laughs> you know, like, oh gosh, what did I do? Why did I tell certain... So Source is saying you're learning how to just move a little bit more strategic. If people are happy for you, they're praying for you. They don't need to know. They don't need to come under the guise of prayer. They're praying for you because they genuinely want to see you thrive. The end. They don't even need to know why they're praying. They just say, they're praying. I'm praying that your business does well. I'm praying that you your marriage survives. I'm praying, you know, that your marriage is thriving or that you're thriving, whatever. So, or that your friendships thrive, right? So, Somebody's learning how to be more in high priestess, like when you're listening to how you feel about things. Like, that's okay, I have a feeling about something, right? I have a feeling that just in every area of your life, not just in the physical stuff. I have a feeling that my business is going to do well. I have a feeling that, you know. So, yeah, so um, you're definitely tapping more into divine feminine energy. And so it's going to cause, it's going to go from you lamenting over some things that you had to pray your way through to now you really being in divine feminine energy. Listening to your intuition. Here we have the six of swords as you're continuing to move through a rite of passage. We also have the five of pentacles. You're going to keep the trash talkers out, right? People who are talking about, oh, where they live. It's just, it's not clean where they live. And they just talk about everything. You know, they come from, you know, poor beginnings. They, I mean, just talk to people just pretend, just saying any old thing. They're probably nothing. <laughs> just immature, just talking about where people grew up, all of this, where people, family from, all this nothing conversation. So Source is saying to you, you're learning how to keep people out of your, because as Pluto is retrograde and that's the judgment card, keep people away. You're not giving them the power to judge you. Not that it matters anyway, but again, more money is coming across your path. And so some people want to judge how more money is coming across your path. You worked hard for it. You prayed. You prayed. They're going to pray. They're going to, oh, I wonder if they slept with somebody. I wonder if they, you know, what they did to get more money coming across. Who cares what they think? Source is saying to you, you're learning how to move more strategically. Learning how to move more strategically, so... And not telling certain energies. You're learning how to take your power back. So, whatever um, curse that you had or some kind of spell of just feeling like you just talking, 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 talking. Or feeling like somebody was started. Somebody, some kind of a spell was put on some people. It was like, okay, you got to open up. You got to tell more. You got to talk more. But it's, it's not so much that you got to talk more. You got to share more. It's who you were sharing it with. Like, it's like sources saying... Somebody was sharing their information with a gossiper. Somebody who likes to create chaos and confusion, right? Some people you share with, it just it stays right there. They're not sharing and gossiping with anybody. They're just like, oh, okay, whatever, move on, no big deal. They've been judged too. they like, okay, I wish you the best, the end. Some people, they like to create chaos and confusion. So it's not so much that you can't open up. It's about strategy, like learning how to be more strategic. Like some people, I got a feeling I can't share anything with because all they do is tell everything. 
But when your door is wide open, you can't tell who from who. So somebody is now learning because more money is coming across your path. Some of those colleagues you used to just be opening up, just being so open and sharing stuff with, guess what they doing? Talking trash. Oh, well, they got a raise because somebody felt sorry for them because of whatever. They felt sorry for Scorpio because, you know, Scorpio grew up poor. They just wanted Scorpio to be a part of the group. They want to score. Like, as if your intellect didn't get you an increase. Like, for real. <laughs> you know, I just they gave it to Scorpio because Scorpio is experiencing financial problems. And I know that because Scorpio was telling me that they, they went through this and they went through that and they needed some more money because financially things weren't going right at home. Okay, no, you got it because you're smart. That's why, right? So that's it. So somebody's learning. So it's not your, um, so you're going to start learning. It's not your responsibility to tell everybody stuff. Um, so I do see you being victorious and just moving on from all of that. Here we have the hermit card. Somebody's going to learn how to go into hermit mode and analyze who you can tell stuff to and who you need to, you know, get delivered from people's opinion so when the moon was in scorpio that's what you're saying from the past whatever people knew about you whatever they said about how you grew up that they thought you grew up under a bridge i mean so what if you were and you made it you no longer live under a bridge okay so what when i say judgment get delivered from people's judgment of you that's a whole lot of people who are successful by their definition of successful. So here's the seven of swords here. So yeah, you and somebody are learning how to be a little bit more strategic um, and just kind of sort of who you're talking to and leaving people out of your vault door. So you and somebody are building a very, very rich legacy together and learning how to just keep, you know, like I said, fire starters out of your, your they just, just go from one place to the other, talking trash about people outside of people's vault door they are familiar spirits. They like to get familiar with people. So they pray for people who, they pray for warm spirited people who they find, they fit, they figure, okay, we can warm up to this type of spirit. They have some kind of emotional wounding that we figured out. They got some kind of emotional wound. Let's warm up to this, these energies. They're going to give us access to who hurt them, where they used to grow up. And they try to act like they familiar. Oh yeah. You know, I, like they can relate. Oh yeah. I grew up in that kind of situation too. And they always trying to find some kind of connection and then turn around and use it against people. So it's saying you can be grateful that you left them behind. Because all they do is sit around and talk trash about people. Here we have the um, judgment card. Because that's how they feel about themselves. So, and But they are very highly judgmental energies. So, here we have the six of swords here. So, congratulations on somebody's promotion. More money coming across your path. Stop telling everybody what's going on. Here we have the five of swords here. You're going to leave them in the past. <clears throat> You're going to leave them in those two types of energies in the past. Because they're going to tell everybody that you're the one that's combative now. Oh, they so combative. They they got a bad attitude. Whatever. It don't matter. So, congratulations. You worked hard for your promotion. And they on to talking about whatever you shared about them. You deliver from people's opinions. You don't care. Move on. That's a, That was a karmic cycle. That was a karmic relationship anyway. And it's two of them. It's, it's two energies. That's what they do. They just go from place to place to place. I mean... <laughs> Like, they just roam the earth. It's two types of energies. All they do is just roam the earth to and fro. Sound familiar? They just roam the earth to and fro talking about people, you know. And it's, it's two types of spirits, you know. And so um, they make everything about them. Everything about them. So here we have the four of wands here. So like I said, you and somebody have learned... You and somebody have, may have had learned the hard way, you know, that it's just not your responsibility to carry their insecure burdens. Here we have the two of wands. And so lots of opportunities are coming your way and somebody else's way to travel, meet new people. Like I said, somebody's going to feel like literally you have a whole new lease on life. You're going to feel like, because source is cooking up something nice for you and somebody. So again, adjust your crown. Adjust your crown. So, Six of Pentacles. One thing you and somebody won't be doing anymore is looking for people's acceptance and approval because it's already come through. Yeah, you and somebody getting a raise. You and somebody are getting an increase in your money. 
And both of y'all have learned, y'all have had to learn to keep people out of y'all business because both of y'all are hardworking people, but people just assume that things come so easy for you and somebody. So they go, they went right into just cutthroat mode, okay? We're going to make things hard. Talking about trying to just throw, just distractions. Three of Pentacles. you just looking for teamwork. you trying to make the dream work. They so busy. Like I said, just... Here we have Justice card. Like I said, you were dealing with two types of energy, vain and vengeful. I like to disrupt people's peace. It's a mess. So anyway, congratulations on increase. Congratulations on increase. Some of the people you used to go to lunch with that thought that you, you got something the easy way or whatever. And because of whatever, whatever they was thinking, it don't matter. Like I said, vain and vengeful spirits. Mm -hmm. vain and vengeful spirits somebody is just looking for things to flow like you know you're looking for things to flow in your relationships both in your personal and your professional life so being around trash talking people they're not looking for things to flow they're looking to stir up stuff they just looking to just keep some mess going create a bunch of chaos and confusion because that's what something's going on in their spirit um, yeah but so you and somebody are like everything is lining up for you and somebody. But y'all had to learn the hard way to keep people out of your business and move on in childlike faith. See so you all moving on in childlike faith. But you're going to be grateful that, you know, it's, it's like your wish fulfilled for them and their wish fulfilled for you after lamenting over some things from the past. And they're going to really encourage you to pour into yourselves. Into yourselves, just like, just like they pour into themselves, you know, in terms of like your moon sign, that kind of thing. Just like you, they have, they were accused of being, you know, whatever, um, hostile and argumentative and all that other mess, whatever. So here we have the Queen of Cups. But it was because they stopped telling people what they what their plans were. They stopped telling people they want to apply for a position. They stopped telling people they they start getting a little bit more quiet. Start saying, okay, I'm starting to notice that when I'm sharing certain information, it's starting to kind of they start getting more focused more action oriented and more focused like okay let me just oh, let me just let people know after i got promoted like let me start letting people know after you know you put the hard work in so that's what i'm seeing so um yeah somebody is starting to learn about these types of spirits that pray for people you know they pray for all they want a person with a good heart nice and sweet they get familiar with those types of spirits and they just go in and strike Right, so somebody is starting to get familiar with those types of energies. Like, yeah, you don't be connected to that karmic. So, yeah, congratulations, congratulations for spotting them. I mean, you are ruled by Pluto, which is a judgment card. So, somebody is really starting to understand these your ruling planets, like, and just how powerful they are. So, you know, that's during during Mercury uh, pre-shadow retrograde, which is now Mercury is pre-shadow retrograde. I feel like somebody's going to really increase their knowledge about their ruling planets. That's what I feel like. That's what you're about, increasing your knowledge. You increase your knowledge about your ruling planets. You're ruled by Mars, which is a tower card, and Jupiter. I mean, excuse me, and um, the judgment card, which is Pluto, which is currently retrograde. So it's time to do a root chakra cleanse and solar plexus chakra cleanse. But prepare for an increase in pay. Yep, yeah, but I'm telling you, these fire starter gossiping type of energies, mm -mm, they won't know about it. Prepare for an increase in pay. Let go and let God. More money is coming soon. Yep. Yeah, somebody regrets lying to you about something. So sacral chakra cleanse. Your new home awaits. Um, your gifts have been increased. Yep. Your ancestors are very proud of you. It's time to do a heart chakra cleanse. If somebody head and heart was at war with each other, the curse is now broken. Like I said before, the curse of just feeling like I got to physically see something to believe it. Uh, here we have, you have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning, right? So he apologizes for betraying you, whoever he is, but... He apologizes for betraying you. Because at first, it's like somebody didn't have a choice but to be apologize for betraying you. Um, 
right now. So stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. That's right. I have the power to change my destiny. Yep, you have the power to change your destiny. Now we're talking about balance, the op. Yeah, divine masculine to divine feminine. Yep. <clears throat> Morning dew, 26. What stillness does the silence of one's steadiness bring? That's right. All somebody had to do was just, just be with self for a minute. Go in. Talk to source. Go in and listen to that inner voice. First question for the moon in Capricorn is, what are your top three priorities this week, this month, and this year? The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? Fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? I know I saw the numbers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so when you see an energies that are vain and vindictive towards other people, you better see at some point they're trying to show you, they're trying to they're trying to project some kind of fear into you in a very passive kind of way, passive aggressive way. Basically, like if you get out of line, I'll be that vain, I mean, I'll be that vindictive towards you. Just mm, pure craziness. Here we have zero. I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new insight, new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. That's right. It has to be a balance there. It has to be balanced. Divine masculine to divine feminine. And so congratulations on your promotion. You are somebody's promotion as you're um, balancing things out. And then you're going to start seeing things start flowing. Money flowing, more ideas flowing. But you're going to start learning how to keep people out. You're going to start learning how to protect your vault door. So there has to be certain things. There's levels to it. There's going to be certain energies that you're saying, I can't let certain energies in just based on what they're talking about, what they're doing, what they're into. I don't want to be a part of all that. And trash talking is going to be one thing that's going to keep people out of it. The gossiping, the all of that. You know, the lurking and all of that, trying to find out people's business and who's this and that. They'll tell you, oh, I got close enough to them, and I know this about them. I know that about them. That right there is going to get the door slammed right in their face. That is what I have for you all. I will see you all in the next reading. And again, happy full moon phase. Don't forget to do your rituals. If you do your rituals, um, there's never any pressure there. But don't forget to journal, you know, all your daydreams, night dreams, all of that. All the every information that comes down to you during this full moon because we're in a full buck moon um, phase. And so... Um, as you're going through a, a very powerful transformation, you do want to document your own powerful transformation. Because I can tell you while, the, while Pluto is retrograde, people will definitely try to judge you from your past and you need to get delivered from it so that you can celebrate your own powerful transformation. That's what I have for you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.